Alright, what's up you guys? Your favorite nerd Breezy back again to make you guys a new video. I know I'm back soon, but I just checked out some news on N4G and I thought I'd like to share with you guys because it actually excited me. For all the people that never had a, um, a PlayStation 3 that had backwards capability, it may excite you as well. Alright, today basically Sony just shared some, new with, some news with us talking about its new program that releasing that is releasing on October 4th, which is tomorrow, which is kind of close to the, you know, 10, 5, 11, uh, you know, trailer that they just released. I don't know if it has exactly something to do with that because it's a date off, but they're just announcing their uh, program uh, only on PSN. I think a lot of people knew about that for a couple of days. I went and checked out some videos and um, they got some trailers up of some games that have been coming out. But basically, what only on PSN is, is um, they're going to be dropping a whole bunch of games that's only on PSN. You know, some games like uh, Sodium and I think uh, Infamous 2 Festival of Blood, they're going to be dropping a DLC for that. But the best thing about this is they're going to be dropping a handful of PS2 games. Now, I know sometimes Sony announces their programs and they wait till like two, three years, which is exaggeration, about, you know, a month or something to get it started. Um, they're actually starting it tomorrow. They're going to be dropping a handful of PS2 games. Um, I think I've seen something about God Hand. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. You can go check out the article for yourself. They're going to be dropping a lot of PS2 games, and it's going to be only on PSN. I know PlayStation Plus subscribers are going to get 20% discount on all of them, so I don't know how much they're going to be dropping these PS2 games for. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, they're probably going to do it like the PS1 Classics, where basically it goes by, you know, how well known the games are, because, you know, some PS1 Classics in there go for, you know, $4.99. And then you have some PS1 classics like Final Fantasy VII, which go for $10 because it's more well-known than others. So, I don't know how they'll be pricing it, but from Resident Evil 4 coming out, and it's only been $10, I'm kind of confused on how they're going to work the prices around, so I'm not sure. Now, I know what a lot of you people are thinking. You're thinking, you know, I can, okay, well, you know, I'm probably going to be able to do backwards capability on my PS3 now. No. You still can't do backwards capability on your on your PS3. This is only, um, you know, just going through the PSN store. You know, what I'm saying if your your PS3 never had backwards capability, you cannot put a PS2 disc in and play it. So that's the part that sucks. But you know, hopefully, I'm hoping Sony really, you know, I, I think Sony really listened to us in the fact that all the fans wanted them to put a lot of PS2 games back because they've been dropping a lot of classic, uh, a lot of classic collections for these games. And, you know, I, I think they're going to be dropping a lot of PS2 games as well. Um, I don't know how many games exactly of the PS2 collection that will be dropping, but I just hope they drop, you know, a whole bunch because there's so many classics on PS2 that I miss. And you guys know I'm a big Time Splitters fan, so, you know, yeah. Uh, I mean, the collect my collection is sitting up there collecting dust. What a collection. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm really hyped for this. And uh, I still want to see what's going to be happening on the 5th, because I hope this is not the big hype that we've seen on that trailer. Because, you know, that trailer has a lot of hype on it. I hope this is just one of their programs that they just want to start on the side and still have something for us to look forward to on the 5th as well. So, just the news I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, all you people out there that was like me that never got to play PS2 games on our PS3, you guys can be hyped for it as well. Um, put a link in the description. You can check out the article for yourself. Read more into it. It's your boy Breezy, your favorite nerd.